We make money nine different ways in the Amateur Golf Hall of Fame. I'm just going to take a real brief second here to go over those ways with you. We make money on our website. You know, when you go to our website, every single page has a golfer on it for our Hall of Fame member. And every one of those pages has unlimited sponsorship opportunities underneath it. You know, if, you, if we charge them like $10 a month for a sponsorship opportunity to be, to be under a golfer on their sponsor page. Well, when you multiply $100 a year, $120 a year times 10 to 20,000 people, that's a very big opportunity on our webpage. Plus, we'll have merchandise to sell on our webpage, not from just the Hall of Fame, but from all of golf. And we'll make a, a very nice profit off selling merchandise. When you have 20 or 30,000 members of the Hall of Fame, you're going to get an awful lot of traffic. And when you get traffic, you can sell things. And that's one of the things we're going to do on our website is sell things, and we're going to make a commission. The other way we make money with the Hall of Fame is by selling merchandise to our Hall of Fame members and to the general public. You know, if you're in the Hall of Fame, you're going to wear a, a Hall of Fame ring and a shirt and a hat and a towel and a bag and a plaque and certificates. You're going to want an awful lot of things, and we're going to say that, and we'll make a nice little profit. But the general public would like to wear Hall of Fame merchandise. And we hope we're going to establish a relationship with some of the biggest retail stores in town to carry the Hall of Fame merchandise in their own Hall of Fame section, where we'll have features on all the Hall of Fame members and be very excited. You can go in there and nominate someone that you know to be in the Hall of Fame. So merchandise is a very big opportunity with the Hall of Fame. Another way we're going to make money with the Hall of Fame is with our Hall of Fame magazine. Every year at our banquet, we're going to have a magazine put out telling people about the new Hall of Fame members. Each member will get their own Hall of Fame page where they'll have numerous pictures and a lot about them. And that means we can sell a lot of sponsorship pages for the magazine from golf manufacturers and people just want to support the Hall of Fame members like local businesses and local bankers and auto dealers and insurance companies. It's going to be a very big deal, the Hall of Fame magazine. It's going to be a magazine that's going to be a collector's item. Another way we make money with the Hall of Fame is with our Hall of Fame TV show. We hope to produce a weekly TV show where we feature Hall of Fame members and tell exciting things about how they became a Hall of Fame member, what they've done. You know, there's some fantastic stories from our Hall of Fame members, people that are crippled, people that have been playing for 30, 40 years, people that have made two hole-in-ones and one round of golf, people that have won dozens and dozens of tournaments. But they all have exciting, compelling stories. And we're going to feature them on our Hall of Fame TV show. Another way we make money with the Hall of Fame is with our Hall of Fame DVDs. We're going to have an entire instructional series with our Hall of Fame members where they'll teach you how they play golf and some of their secrets. We're also going to have a DVD series where we're going to tell all about the Hall of Fame members. Now, even if we only sold it to our members, we'd sell 30, 40,000 copies. So this is a big time opportunity, but you know what? I know that people want to learn from the best, and when you have the best golfers in America giving you golf tips, they're going to want to read it, they're going to want to see it, they're going to want to buy it. Another way we make money with the Hall of Fame is with our traveling tour bus. We're going to have an entire tour bus wrapped with the Hall of Fame banners and stuff in it that's going to go around to every sporting event in every country club in America and sell Hall of Fame merchandise and DVDs and magazines and go and solicit and find new Hall of Fame members of that golf course. It's going to create incredible interest and it's going to drive an awful lot of business and revenue for the Hall of Fame. Another way we make money with the Hall of Fame is our annual banquet and award ceremony. You know, when you're in the Hall of Fame, you get to come to an actual banquet, just like in Hollywood when you're in the Academy Awards, you go to a banquet, or when you go to the Football Hall of Fame, you have a banquet. You're going to get to go up on stage and make a speech. You're going to get your awards, your plaques, your, your merchandise, and all the Hall of Fame stuff, and it's going to be a very big deal. You're going to eat dinner, you're going to bring your family and friends, and we're going to make money by, just like any banquet would when you have when you invite people to our Hall of Fame. You know, some people are going to invite 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 people to their Hall of Fame induction. Another way we make money with the Hall of Fame is with our annual Hall of Fame tournament. Every state will have their own individual Hall of Fame golf tournament every year where existing Hall of Fame members and new Hall of Fame members get to play against each other and bring their family and friends. Some of the states are going to have so many members in the Hall of Fame that they're going to have tournaments every day for a week or, or even a month. That's a big time opportunity. I know you've played a lot of golf tournaments and some of the tournaments cost a lot of money. We expect, we expect to make significant revenue from our Hall of Fame golf tournament. I've given you just a brief overview of the opportunity to make money with the Hall of Fame golf tournament, but one of the big opportunities is with the Hall of Fame Timeshare Resort. We're going to have our own Hall of Fame resort and hotel and golf course. And, and if you know anything about timesharing, timesharing sells for ten to twenty thousand dollars a week. And if we have ten or twenty thousand members of our Hall of Fame, that's a very big number, two to four hundred million dollars. You know, timesharing is a very big deal. Why would someone buy a timeshare? Because every year you get to come back to the Hall of Fame tournament, Hall of Fame banquet, meet the new Hall of Fame members, be in the be fed and be treated like a king in your own Hall of Fame resort. We're going to get a lot of people that want to be members of the Hall of Fame resort, and that's going to create a significant amount of revenue for the United States Amateur Golf Hall of Fame. There's just a ton of opportunities to make money with the Hall of Fame. We need you to be a partner and help us to make this dream come true.